Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another flip through. So this, we are in my May-June Fobonichi, and let's just continue where we left off. This is where we left off. I've changed my style a little bit. This was inspired by um, a dear friend, Allison, on the group, and I just love the way that she had been doing her, I don't know if it was her May or June book, but she was working in a magazine, a TN magazine, journal that she had made and it was just fabulous so i'd gotten a, a sweet happy mail from karen my dear sister down in australia and she had sent me some kiki k paper and this was some of the washi tape and some of the cute little stickers she had she always has the cutest envelope um stuff so yeah so that was really sweet of her and, oh, I had tried to live stream again. So I had originally attempted to use my son's webcam and I couldn't figure it out. And he was sleeping because he's working nights. And so, yeah, it was a no-go with the webcam. But then I decided to work it out on my iPad and it worked fine. So that's how I've been doing my live streams. I just do it on my iPad. And then I spoke with my sweet Aunt Cindy. It's actually my husband's Aunt Cindy, but I love her and... Of course, I consider her, you know, she's my aunt by marriage. And um, so, yeah. And then my crafty bestie called and we tried to set up a play date. So, yep, that was fun. And then this day here, this page here is actually from a notepad, a really cute notepad. Um, and it was rainy, rainy, rainy. And these are like, Oh yeah, this was a sticker that I got from a dear friend in Happy Mail, and they are 3D stickers, but I take them apart so that they're, they end up being flat stickers. This would have been my mother's uh, June 14th, which is Flag Day, would have been my sweet mother's 74th birthday. So yes, um, gone from this earth, but forever in my heart, and yeah, I was just really missing her that day. Oh, and this little thing here, this is like a piece of money here. And and this is representing um, the home improvements that are going to be coming soon. Yeah, we finally scheduled some home improvements here at the North House that desperately need to get done. So yeah, that was that. This was National Flip Flop Day. And so I found this in a Dollar Tree um advertisement advertisement magazine whatever so I decided to put that in there we were headed down to the keys this weekend it was gloomy again just typical you know summer weather it, summer is our rainy season so yeah we went around and we just you know um got out and about so that was nice and then this was in my stash actually and I I do like doing, you know, lettering and doing fun ways, fun things with lettering. So I just wrote you are my sunshine on on here. And then where art thou because we had been getting a lot of rain. So um yeah. Let me see here. Caught up with sunshine when he finally joined the living. Oh, he was sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yep, so we headed south this weekend. And then today we went out and about as well and went to a place called Shell World and got, this is like a little um, sticker off my husband's cologne that he wears and we get, that we get at um, Shell World. So I I love the, the stickers and I love the smell of it too. And then here on this side, if you can see it, I did the flip in this way, right? So this is actually from the bag itself sorry for the glare from shell world I made a little tag and put that on it and then it just flip opens this way and I wrote about what we had um, you know gotten and what we did and then this background map was a page from a magazine that I just picked up along my journey that day and it, it was like a free travel magazine and they're great to get to pick up because um, you know they have really great images so yeah, so let's see. Oh, we stopped off at Evelyn's for breakfast and then we went out and did some shopping around. So that was fun. Get out of the house together. And I think we probably went down to the Keys without the pups. Maybe, I don't remember. 
Anyway, I always love spending time with my husband down there. And then this day here, yep, we headed home. Totally nice, relaxing day on the couch, and that was about it. This was Father's Day. Um, this was a this was a fun page to do, you know. I mean, I just went through my stash and found a bunch of different things and stuck them in. So yeah, home is where the heart is. Uh, we were watching Blue Bloods at this time. Yeah, if there was an award for laziness, I'd probably send someone to pick it up for me. This picture of a sloth, which is actually upside down now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, isn't that funny? Yeah, sloths go this way. They go upside down. I'll have to glue that on later. But that was fun. This was a fun page to do, just looking through my stash and sticking a bunch of stuff in. And then these were really fun too. I had, when we had been out this weekend, um, I had gotten these fortune telling magic fish and the graphics on the packaging itself is just beautiful. So I photocopied it, enlarged it a bit to fit in the book. And then I photocopied the back of it and yeah, stuck it in there. So that was fun. And this is just kind of like a checklist sort of thing of all the different things I did. I was pretty busy on this Monday. Yeah. The game. <laughs> The get the crap done game. That's what that was about. These were really cute, um, just graphics from a graphic novel that I found at the library. Pain in my butt. Yeah, I just had a lot of phone calls to make my typical Monday morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, called my grandmother. Yeah, the don't want to do list. This whole orange paper is actually a piece of um, a notepad. So super cute. Yeah, I like that page. And then here's this page. Oh my goodness, a lot of different things. Yeah, this day I was making a lot of pockets. Um, and then in here, these were pockets I had made from Septaria 18. They were super cute and fun to make. Um, yeah, Nancy from the group had put something on her Facebook page about Septaria and I'd never found her or or looked at her channel so of course I had to go over and check it out and made these cute little pockets this whole day I was making pockets so I made this pocket here and this was from um, Bonnie and Clive pocket and then this cute little origami pocket was from Jerry Bellini recycled arts for par I'm sorry recycled parts for art so yeah I did a live stream about all these pockets this one I made into a pocket and wrote about uh, be beauty queen and I catching up yeah S out on the patio and then I just I wrote about you know my day so yeah and I'm really enjoying creating pages like these they're super fun don't do it Jack he was fixing a bark I could hear him growling then on this day here let's see oh SB SBS yeah that was <laughs> That's a little private joke between Brooke and I, um, or Brooke and me. Yeah, Brooke and me. Anyway, um, so, okay, yeah, I worked on yesterday's FOVO page. Is this a tip-in? No, it's glued down, this little thing here. Sorry if there's a glare. It's like a gold um, car, little card thing. And then I fit, yeah, so then I FaceTime with Brooke and oh my gosh, we just giggle and crack up at the silliest things. So yeah, it was fun catching up with her. She's Recreations by Brooke, so I'll leave her link below. And oh, I had finished my little girl's journal and was sending that out. And then here's just some packaging from some um, Chinese food that my son and I ate. Yeah, these pictures here are actually from I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a, I can't think of the word. It's the Japanese graphic novels. Um, yeah, I can't think of the word, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, they have fabulous illustrations, so <laughs> I use them. Here's another one. I was obviously pretty irritated this day. Um, yeah, I went out and about actually on this day 
and had a lot of errands to run. I was gonna go live the following day on YouTube to do an all about the Fobonichi live stream. So I had done that, that you know, it was coming up the next day. I went to the post office and sent out some happy mail. Um, yeah, I still was not a huge fan of the crocodile yet. It, it is a fabulous tool to use. I just wasn't a big, huge fan of it yet. And I went to the post office, then I went to UPS, I had to drop something off. Um, went to Publix and went to Michael's. Got more sugar and cream, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, cotton yarn to me. She wanted me to make a cactus for her for next year. FIFA was on and it was funny the you know the World Cup was starting and I had no interest in soccer whatsoever until I started watching it and I really got engrossed in it <laughs> yeah so I ended up yeah here I wrote I couldn't care less about FIFA and the World Cup but then it turned out it was like when's the game on you know so anyway yeah and then this just is a rant about my inward road rage um, yeah, I do not like driving. I very rarely drive. I only drive if I absolutely have to. And I did this day because, um, I had to send out a happy mail and I had to get stuff at the grocery store and whatever. So yeah. Yeah. And the back of this is, is the McDonald's bag, uh, because I stopped by McDonald's and got myself a cheeseburger. Yes, I did. This day here, I am slacking apparently. This is what happens on a day either when I don't have time or I'm just not motivated or yeah, I don't have mojo or I don't have notes in my phone. I look through my calendar pages, find a happy picture and slap it on. So yeah. Oh, in this case, well, and then I write about it. In this case, it was I had forgotten to put notes in my book so or in my phone rather. So yeah, I didn't remember what happened, but yeah, it's just, yeah, it, we've been pretty, it says here, we've been pretty bogged down with just life itself. So yeah, I just haven't been, you know, kept, you know, staying caught up with the whole Fobonichi thing at this point, but anyway, so on this day here, I actually have a piece of wax paper covering up this right here because let me see. It must have been whatever, now it's not, I don't think, yeah. I had written out uh, my journaling on here and I'd written it in hot pink pen and then you really couldn't see it well. So then I went over the hot pink pen with a Sharpie that before I let it dry, smeared it. So I didn't know if it was gonna continue to smear and so I just put a piece of wax paper over it to protect not only it, but the opposite page, the facing page. And then this page was all about cacti. This is actually a photocopy in, of a picture that I took of the crochet cactus I made for my daughter. So I took the photo and photocopied it, but enlarged it to fit into my book. So anyhow, it was all about the cacti this day, apparently. Yeah. I really do love, I really, really do love to crochet. Um, and then this day here, this was a Sunday, so maybe we didn't go down to the Keys? Uh, I woke with a sinus headache. Yeah, no, we stayed home because we were watching the World Cup and the kids went out for sushi. I love it when they go out together. Yeah, it, it's just been crazy and we just didn't feel like heading down to the Keys, so we didn't, we stayed home. And we watched the World Cup all weekend long. And I made a whole load of these coasters, which I have one right here. What I did with these is I actually photocopied them. <laughs> I put them right down onto my photocopy machine, my printer, you know. And I photocopied them and I resized them to fit into my book. So there's that. If you want to know what kind of printer I have, it is an HP PhotoSmart. And it works very well. And I love it. And do I use a lot of ink just in case you're wondering? Yes, I do. But I got the idea years ago to from the Frugal Crafter, Lindsay on the Frugal Crafter, to look on Amazon for compatible ink for your particular printer. 
And in fact, I have to order some soon. And I do believe I just found online for less than $20. Let me think. Two of each color. So that's two, four, six. Two photos and two extra blacks. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten things of ink for 20 bucks. Like that's that's less than half of what it would cost me to get one cartridge for my printer and at the like the office supply store. And yes, it is not HP ink and they give you warnings and all that, you know. I've never had a problem. So there's a little tip for you on the printing stuff. Okay, let's see what happened here. Apparently nothing happened here because I was behind. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, on this day here, look at this. I had received these beautiful um, first, their first day of issue stamps. And my dear sister from Australia, Karen, she sends these to me and they are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, She just spoils me rotten and they're just so beautiful. So that happened that day and I guess I had forgotten to put notes in my phone. So I have no idea what happened and I did not... Um, write anything and I'm um, it's fine with me it's fine I've learned to let these kind of days go I've learned to let them go this day apparently I was anxious oh yeah okay because I had actually scheduled a live and that is why I was anxious if I decide to go live and it's just like an impromptu live it's kind of like doing these videos so it's a lot of fun it's just you know laid back and everything goes relatively smoothly but I had actually planned to get on and kind of advertised it on some of the channel or some of the Facebook pages that I was going on so that was just like added pressure and I was super anxious and my dear friend Brooke from Recreations by Brooke um, she did a great job moderating. She's really like in tune to what's going on and all of that. And so, yeah, she did a great job and I was glad that she agreed to, to moderate my streams for me. And yeah, I ended up with, I'd rather have an impromptu, uh, stream. And then this is, this goes up, right? And then it's like that. So I wrote about, um, you know, whatever I wrote about up there. Well, let's get this centered, shall we? Elizabeth, what's going on? Oh no, I really hope the whole book wasn't off on this video. Anyway. Um, yeah, this was just stuff about the homeowner's insurance. They were giving us such a hard time and yeah, it was just a pain. So yeah. Um, yeah, throw me a bone, geez, and a little help, a little message in a bottle. Because, again, this, this whole first year has just been uh, trying, I guess you could call it. So, Big Handsome had his gallbladder test that this day. So, yeah, he just, he felt sick all night long from that gallbladder test. Ugh. Let's see if I can finish this real fast. So this day here it was another day that I was just feeling the pressure of life, you know? So, um, yeah, I really love the way that this came out. This background picture, even with the butterfly, came from my Charles Stanley um, In Touch magazine. Love those magazines. And, yeah, this was just all about resting. Oh, there's an ant. Resting in, in the Lord's uh, grace and mercy. So that was that day. Big Handsome's test results. So this was interesting. Um, it may represent partial obstruction in his small bowel or a sphincter of odi dysfunction. So what I found interesting about this is that four years ago, one of his first doctors, um, when he first started having all these issues, I actually asked the doctor, could it be the sphincter of odi dysfunction? He pretty much laughed at me and said, no, only middle-aged women get that. And here it shows up four years later on a test, on a, on a different test. So uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the rest of this talks about like my husband, he plays a game on his phone. And so like he constantly plays it, but it's one of the ways that he copes with 
being in pain all the time. Playing this game just keeps his mind off a bit, but sometimes it can get a little irritating because he always has his face in his phone, but I get it, you know, I get it. Um, so yeah. And then that was it. That was it. Oh, I think I was going to attempt to crochet a smaller cactus. I never did do that. And then this beautiful, um, it's a printable, a free printable I got off of Brooke by Recreations by Brooke, her Facebook page. So it's still there. You can go over to, I'll link the face, her Facebook page below. You can go over there and get um, this freebie. She has a lot of other freebies too. So yeah. And then I did some blanket stitching on little girl's journals. In fact, this right here was like the fabric I used in some of the journals. And then I printed this really pretty doily out and yeah, loved it on this page. And then we were leaving to go to the Keys, I believe. And yeah, then we went out and about on this day. It was sunny for once and yeah, I we went to the what's it called like Office Depot or whatever, and because I had to get copy paper, and then I got more pens. And <laughs> he was like, "Do you really need more pens, honey? Really? Well, they were on sale, so of course I needed them." Silly que silly question, silly man. Oh my goodness, yeah. And then I watched I watched Dana S on YouTube. It must have been, and I fell in love with her baldies. I don't know if I saw. Um, yeah, it, it was YouTube, I believe. So I'll leave her link below. Anyway, this was my dad's birthday. He was turning 75. So yeah. And then that's the end of the month. And that's the end of this book. And I'm supposed to do my shout out series here and I haven't gotten it done yet. So hopefully I'll get it done at some point. Sorry, this video was so stinking long. I hope everything was in view so that I don't have to redo it. And thanks for sticking it out with me. I hope y'all have a great day and a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.